and welcome to another Monday plan with me. This week I am planning from October the 22nd to the 28th. The kit I am using is Boo from Katie Elizabeth Plans. Um, I do realise that this kit hasn't been shown yet because the whole video it is in will be up next month. So I will insert a clip of the kit for you but I will just quickly go through it now. I did order the mini kit. Um, I have stuck some bits down on this, hence why I thought I need to uh, insert a clip of the kit blank for you. So that is the kit and I had the two add-on washi sheets. I also have my Halloween countdown from Months More with Love. Um, glitters I'm going to be using are the black ones on this Scubble Prince Co sheet, the silver in these ones, and then some pink from Your World of Colour. And then I just have the rest of my icons I want to use. Um, so I'm going to get on into placing all the kit down and I will be back with a voiceover probably through that I'm not sure yet if not I will definitely be back through my placing of functional kit stickers So for placing the kit this week, I used some for washi from the extra add-on sheets for down the bottom and across the top. The headers I use, uh, the date covers I use are some silver foiled ones from Your World of Colour. I then have some glitter headers from the Plump Planner and Scribble Prints Co. And I think the pink ones are from Your World of Colour. I also place all my boxes down as well. I especially love the one with the double one with the cat and the pumpkins. So I just place these where I feel like I want to put them. Um, I do realise at the bottom there I've left too much space so I use the bow washi as well just to fill up a bit more of that bottom space. I do then start my sidebar but I forgot to bring an extra checklist so moving on to the functional for Monday I have a half box from the kit um, with a Coffee Monsters Co Mom Life mug just to mark Coffee Monday. Um, sorry, I got ahead of myself then. First, I place one of the Halloween countdowns from Once More With Love, just so I know I have space for it. But this is me placing the Coffee Monday. I then use a pink planner. I got ahead of myself again. Um, my white outers ran out so I need to cover the lines up. 
so I use a strip of washi from the kit but then I use a pink planner from your world of colour to mark to share my weekly spread and a YouTube button sticker from once more with love to mark I need to film Friday's video for the rest of the day I use a quarter box with a YouTube emoji for marking my plan with me will be going up and this unicorn from my friend Mochi to march the uh, to mark that I need to binge watch my primary videos on YouTube. For Tuesday I use another my friend Mochi unicorn to mark meeting my mum and I leave the rest of the space blank for my shopping checklist. I then use a half box with an emoji holding a pen to mark my eldest has homework club after school. I then put another Halloween countdown and above this I use a shopping unicorn from Your World of Colour to mark that I need to order our shopping. For Wednesday, um, it is payday so I use a piece of the Oh, sorry. I use a piece of the bow washi that came on the add on washi sheet <coughs> along with a leftover payday sticker from a Harriet Wright Designs kit, followed by the Etsy icon that came in the kit to mark I want to do some. Etsy orders and a Instagram icon from Coffee Monsters Co to mark that I want to do some Your World of Colour promoting. I then put two Build Do labels down followed by a half box with a graduation emoji to mark that my youngest breaks up from school. And because I've got no space I decide just to put the Halloween countdown underneath the bow washi. For Thursday, I need to film next week's plan with me, so I use a YouTube button from Once More With Love, followed by a quarter box in case anything comes up. And then an appointment label with a shopping trolley on it just to mark down what time my shopping will be coming. But I've left that blank for now because obviously I don't do my shopping till Tuesday. I then use a quarter box with a emoji on a laptop to mark that I want to get some blog work done. Also a Facebook emoji to mark that I need to do some Your World of Colour promoting and then the bin icon from the sticker just to mark down which bin day it is. For Friday, I use a half box with the lesbian emojis to mark that me and my youngest will be having breakfast out. I then use a flag from the kit with a 
planner clip sticker from Stationery Heaven Co to mark that I need to edit my plan with me and then a cleaning sticker from La Petite Paula to mark that it is focus day. I then have a quarter box which I put a, another graduation emoji on to mark that my eldest breaks up this day. I then use a car sticker from Fluffy Marrow Designs to mark that she is going out with my parents after school. I then use a quarter box at the bottom with an emoji holding nail polishes to mark that me and my youngest are having a girly night and I also add uh, my friend Mochi Unicorn as well. For Saturday I use an appointment label with a musical emoji to mark I need to do the voiceover for my plan with me. I then use a quarter box with the laptop icon from the kit to mark that I want to design some bits for my videos through December. And then I use a pumpkin sticker which was off a Halloween sampler from Once More With Love last year to mark that we're going to be decorating the house. I'm just going to place down the Halloween countdowns that I forgot to place down. And then the last things for Saturday, I use a, another oh, sorry, I thought I was going to cough then. I used another flag from the kit with a Facebook emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that I want to do some promoting for Diamond Prince Designs. And then this unicorn bath sticker from my friend Mochi to mark I want to have a pamper night. Moving on to Sunday. I wanted to use a strip of washi so I used the pink one that I used at the top and then place this sleep in sticker on top of it um i can't quite remember what shop this is from but i will have all the shops linked below then i use another quarter box with a facebook emoji to mark that i want to do some posting in the your world of color shop group and I just leave a space in between the two, just in case anything comes up. I also do the same in a minute. I just leave some space again in case something comes up. And just place a um, appointment label with a laundry emoji to mark that I want to get some laundry done. I think that's everything I placed down for this week. Um, I'll go off camera just to fill everything in and I will be back to show you how the spread turned out. But I really like this kit. It's a bit so something different if you don't want the typical scary Halloween kit. Um, I wish I was able to order the rest of the Your World of Colour kits to finish off this month but I couldn't. So that is all the kit placed down and I will get back to you after filling it all in. So this is this week's spread all finished. I have left a few things empty just so there's some space for anything that comes up and for things that I can't quite fill in yet because obviously 
don't do my shopping till Tuesday night so I don't know what time the shopping will come and I've left my meals blank because I'm not quite sure what those are just yet but that is everything all filled in uh, if you enjoyed this video please give us a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please do so and I shall see you in my next one